To install the plugin, simply upload the zip file you've downloaded here. Install and activate it. The first step you need to do, right after you finish activating the plugin, is to build or customize the email templates. First go to all emails. You'll see there's a list of emails that we built for you. You can either use these available template or customize them or even create a whole new one. To create, click add new. In this editor, you can select an available sample in this list or create your own with these layouts and elements. After you finish building an email template, make sure the email type is assigned here. This direction option will help if you're using right-to-left languages and want to change the element direction. With this option, you can attach files to your template. The files you selected will be sent along with the email. These files must be affixed instead of dynamical, which means the file data does not change according to each user or admin's data. Now, let's see how this template will look like on desktop and mobile devices. Simply use this preview button and view. To ensure, send a test email by adding your email address here and click the send test email button. These two features will help you reduce your workload. While building an email, you feel the need of leaving a note to remind something about that template, maybe for the next time you edit it or for other admins. You can add it here and the note will be visible here with this option you can export the template design and import it back to another place first export the data and copy now go to another page place the copied data here and click import it can be done even on different sites lastly manage the email background with these background settings change the width of the template Responsive Point helps you control how the email shows on desktop and mobile views. The higher responsive point, the bigger element. For example, if you want the elements on mobile look smaller, add a lower value here. Lastly, change the background image or background color. When you use a multilingual plugin, like WPML or Polylang, there will be a rule for language here. You just need to select the language for this current template. When the action to trigger the email is done in that language, the template assigned will be sent. For example, let's create two templates for reset password emails. One in English, an English option selected in the language rule. Another one in Vietnamese, and Vietnamese selected. Once the action of requesting a password reset, the you lost your password, in a particular language, it'll trigger the template with that language assigned. Mutual blocks help you save your time building email because they can be used in different template. Once you change the settings of one block, the change will be applied to all templates that the block is added to. First, create your block in the block settings. Just like building an email, to build a block, you can drag and drop layouts and components, then edit them. After you're happy with the blocks, go to the template you want to insert them. Simply drag the blocks component and select a particular block in your list of created blocks. You can't change the block customization in this template because it will inherit its initial customization in the block settings. If you use any plugin that creates its own WordPress emails, their emails will be displayed in the form of default template. In this case, I'll make an example with ePoy. ePoy creates three emails. We'll take a look at the point changes email. 
it notifies users when their point on the system changes. Before using iMail, the email uses its initial design of WordPress email and is in plain text. And after using iMail, the point changes email is displayed in the form of default template. You can change the form of the default template. But if you want to change the content, you would need to do that in the other plugin settings instead. For example, I'll change the content of the ePoy email here. If you want a particular email to ignore the iMail template, insert the shortcode into the email content. By adding it, this email will use the default design of WordPress email instead of iMail.